Hey everybody, this is Sean, back with another outdoor unboxing, but this time I decided I'm going to do a comic or graphic novel, depending on how you want to look at it, because this is the first time I've ever done one on the channel, and it's about time. I mean, comics are pretty much what got me into drawing and painting, so... I decided to start with this one just because, honestly, I didn't know much about it. Um, I'm familiar with Alex Ross, but this just kind of came out of nowhere, and it looked very Jack Kirby-esque. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to pick this up, open it on the channel, open it on the video, so I can give you guys my first impression. So once again, the first part of the video will just be uh, first impression, checking out the pages, just looking at the overall book, and just my first thoughts pretty much on what I think so far. Uh, then the second part, I'll edit it and I'll come back with how I liked it overall and give it a quick review. All right, let's do As it. As you can see, this thing is still sealed. Let's get it open real quick. I really like this intense color palette that's going on in this. This is very Jack Kirby-esque. Um, that's mainly what drew me to it. Now, I'm trying to figure out, just looking at this back cover, because it looks like, at least this panel, it looks like just uh, Alex Ross's pencils with some maybe um, just simple, just two-tone, maybe gouache tones. Um, if you're not familiar, gouache is a paint that's that's uh, it's kind of like a combination of watercolors and acrylics. I'm not a big fan of it personally. Like you can get some really cool stuff, obviously, with what Alex Ross does. Um, but I, I'm not personally a huge fan of it. I, I I like it, but it's I don't know, it's not my thing. Um, this looks more like traditional. Alex Ross here, like this finished thing with Alex Ross, he does gouache first, and then when he's done, usually he comes back and uses an airbrush, and that would be a good example right here of what his whole process, this where my thumb is. But I kind of like seeing his his art, just seeing the pencil with like this simple color style. Like, let's get this jacket off. All right, let's see. Okay, Alex Ross wrote it. Also, you can see his pencils in here, but he also went and inked all this. So it's kind of cool to see Alex Ross's work um, in a slightly different style. You can tell this is like, if you look closely at these panels, they're not even fully drawn. They're just roughed out with pencil. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool. I, I like how he's mixing it up too. Like. This almost looks like a finished painting or like a, a color rough in this panel. And then it goes back to uh, this kind of more just simple inked lines. And yeah, this is a really cool panel too. Man. The splash page is cool. Yeah, I like how he's mixing it up. So I, I mean, I mainly bought this for his art. So even if I don't like the story, I don't really care. Um, so I don't know if that's going to deter you from buying this or not, if the story isn't amazing. But it's just a beautiful looking book. I mean, he's doing something right because I haven't bought a Fantastic Four comic in like, geez, I can't even remember how long. I think, I think the last one I bought was when Brian Hitch and Mark Miller were doing their run. And before that, I think it was like Heroes Return. Yeah. So you can tell this is like very Jack Kirby influenced as far as the color palette. I think also too, when you've been collecting so long, you know, you've been collecting comics for so long, you've seen so much and so much of them just redoing the same thing and it's like it's nice when you get something just that pops out that you haven't seen in a while and like it's just refreshing 
you know, gets you pumped up about collecting again. This is such a cool double page spread of Annihilus. That looks so good. This is really cool. Yeah, I love the art in this. I mean, I don't think Alex Ross ever really disappoints, but I'm not too crazy about. Look at this. All these pages are sticking together. Oh my god, are you serious? Jeez. Oh, uh, see, that's kind of bullcrap. Look at that. See that? These were stuck like that. That's not cool. And there's a big indentation on this page right here. Come on, Marvel. Ah, uh, whatever. It is what it is. This is literally my face when the pages were all stuck together. What? <laughs> so overall, guys, this is a really cool book. Um, I'm stoked that I bought it. It's definitely worth the price tag. It's 25 the cover price for a hardcover, which isn't bad. Um, it's definitely a tribute to Jack Kirby. It feels like a Stan Lee and Jack Kirby book. The story is simplistic, um, but, you know, just because it's simplistic doesn't mean it's bad. It feels like a book that you would have gotten in the late 60s or maybe early 70s. But with Alex Ross' style, he gives it this cinematic... Um, flare to the whole book so overall yeah i'm really stoked with this book um it just pops it just grabs your eye and just wants you to pick it up so I, I recommend it you know like even if you're not a huge fantastic four fan i like the fantastic four but i'm not a big fantastic four fan so there it is guys fantastic four full circle uh check it out if you want me to do more unboxings or reviews of uh, graphic novels or comics or even some old books, I was thinking about going through some old books and reviewing them. But that's it. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Please hit that like button. Please hit the subscribe so I can make this channel grow. And I'll keep pumping out more content for you. I got some more... Um, art videos and um, other things I'm working on coming up. All right. See you guys.